Hey guys, it's me, Mer from the Prospect Studio. Sorry for the delay in this video. Today we're going to go over variables and functions. So let's begin. So a variable in math is basically anything that's undefined. So for example, 8a plus 4 equals 40. The variable in this is a. Um, I'm using math to as a common ground to relate with the people watching this video. So in math you would have to solve for the variable. In Lua you can't solve for the variable, you have to define the variable. So to define a variable, like I have done so up here, I um, you would have to start with a variable, so in this case it was test equals, and you have to have quotation marks around the definition of the variable, so we could make this cool people, and you have to finish it off with a quotation mark and now the variable test is defined as cool people so we could now remove this and just replace that with this and I'm using notepad plus plus by the way if you're wondering it is a wonderful tool it's free there's a link below in the description box on where to get it so that's our variable so every time you insert the variable test such as in this function below um, the variable will be replaced by its definition which is cool people so let's go over functions a function is very simple to make so it starts with the command function that's hypercam writing in the background recording the screen it starts with the function command yes there are birds in the background too so let's get back on topic it starts with function you have to name the function so name of the function and you have to end up with two parentheses, which are basically um, uh, arguments, which we'll get over in this. We'll go over that in this function. And to end a function, you would just write end. So anything that happens from here to the end is basically um, the function, like the stuff that is being occurred. So this this first function I called it awesome funk and all it does is that it integrates variables and a simple message into a single function so message is a command the function is running and in the parentheses is the message and of course in the message there's the variable test so it would basically say this was made by cool people awesome period mert b that's that's what the function would say in fury now of course like we just went over when you name a function um you can always change its name so we could make this function fail and to add a console command um like in the console command area you would also have to redefine the function the console command is running in this case it was fail so we just switch it from awesome funk to fail, meaning we also have to switch it to fail in the um, on the console command at uh, con command dot add. So this is how a console command works, basically. So you'd have this con command dot add, and it is um, it it does look for ca it is case sensitive, so you might want to make add capital. And uh, in the quotation marks is the thing that you would type in console, so we could do fail if if you can't spell for shit. Fail. Um, then you'd end it off with a quotation mark, comma, and you would have to enter the name of the function. So in this case, it'll be fail, space, parentheses. And now when you type fail, it will execute the fail function and the fail function will ex execute the command message which says this was made by cool people awesome dot mert b and now we basically made two console commands for the same function we really don't need that so i'm just going to remove the fail console command and use the run and jump console command of course you can change the end you can change the stuff in the parentheses I mean not the parentheses, the quotation marks, anything. So instead of run and jump, we could do fail to be uncreative, or we could do birds are awesome because um, there are some in the background. 
So now every time I type birds are awesome in the console, the function fail will run and the command message will be executed. So let's go over arguments. Arguments are required when you are using something, like when you're relating it to a player. So if this wasn't about a player, you wouldn't need a player argument. It would just be it would just be this. But since it is about a player, you do need a player argument. And all this does is that it prints a message on your console. Notice how it says HUD print console. My IP address is, which you can replace it as anything. So we could say, uh, bitch, my, uh, my IP is. And then it would get the player's IP address. Notice how there is the two dots. It's sort of like a variable, except it's defined at the base of the... As... Uh, damn it. I'm choking here. The at, at base game mode. So that's where the IP address will come in. Player IP address. That's It'll get the player IP address. And I named it... Um, I named the console command ping me bitch. So we're going to save this and test it in uh, on Gmod. So start single player. This might take a few seconds. And we're in. So we're going to type the command Lua underscore open script test dot Lua. Our script is run. Like it's just running now. So we could type birds are awesome. And it brings up our function. Well, the message that we made in the function and then we could also write ping me bitch now it says loop pack loop back mainly because it is not a multiplayer server it's single player meaning you can't get an IP in, in fact just it just rotates that's that's uh it's not like it sends a signal to the server but since the server is on you 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 just loop that's that's what it means and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was very quick, mainly due to um, due to the lack of time I had today. I hope you enjoyed it, like I previously said. Check out Axo Gaming at the the uh, link on your on the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a another video with more explanation on Lua. Um, and I will also try to make shorter Lua tutorials, which will be loaded with information. So, if you have any suggestions, post them below in the description box. I'll have this test Lua file. Um, um, I'll have the test Lua file. I'll have a link to the test Lua file somewhere on the description box. And you want to place a test Lua file in your Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Lua directory. So this is where it would go. I will also have this on the description bar. I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Yeah.